In today's video, we are going to decorate my second bedroom that is my guest bedroom or my child's bedroom. So, in another word, we are going to make it so cozy, comfortable and functional. We are also going to make some chicken and you guys, I I had the best chicken in my life that night. So, welcome and stay around till the end to watch all this. Yeah, it's almost raining. Let me unhang these clothes and then... Yeah, just think of a way to store them and select them. Oh my god! Oh my god! I It's raining. It is raining, I tell you. It's quite easy to rain. Hey guys, so it's raining outside, and definitely it's the next day. Yesterday we were able to catch up with making that DIY, you know. I was done with that shurak yesterday, although I've not painted it. And I'm planning to paint it during this weekend. So, guys, currently. I did laundry as you've just seen me taking the clothes outside. I want to change into a you know an outfit that I could be able to do work. It's currently 3 p.m. I, I have rested until now. So I think now is my active time. Usually I get active all throughout the afternoons. Most of my mornings are usually so lazy around. So uh, I want to change and then we just go back to cleaning because I want to you know renovate that bedroom and i will later show you the progress as we change everything around and oh my goodness i think this is definitely please wow guys i'm just loving this rainy season like i am definitely going to enjoy this because i had missed the rain like i feel like i had really really missed this rain it was high time we needed some rain because we have lived in that extreme weather and right now let's just enjoy Guys, look at that, uh, you know, rainy water filling that super tank. Like, it's a little bit of rain, but the rainy water is coming out so fast. I wish you could see that. Like, you know, that pipe. Yeah, that's the current situation. I are loving. Back to my Let's study. 
Siyo balbe ya ki ya indo ni meto kwa bafu. Ya. Exactly. Leta kiti ya kiti ya study table we. Sikuma ndani. Now that we are done with making the bed, I'll be showing you that tomorrow. Let's go back to the curtains. I'm going to change these curtains and because they also need some cleaning, so I'm going to remove them and just place a simple shears that you'll be seeing me do that right about now. You can see the way it is dirty. It really needs a good cleaning. Right about now, I am just removing the papers from the mirror and then I will wipe it down. Later, I'll just go and fix it on the next bedroom. You know, I did this makeover on the same day, but I had to separate the video because it would end up being too long. Now, let's fix the mirror on the wall. I'm using these two nails. <laughs> We are done with the makeover, but there's a few things that are left behind, like hanging the picture frame. I'll be doing that tomorrow, and also I'll be showing you the complete look. Yeah. 
now let's go back to cooking we are making some chicken which you saw me buying earlier on so i'm going to use some local ingredients and also we are going to use some spices as you'll just see in the video i'm going to clean the chicken using some some lemon that is you can use vinegar as well you can use whatever you want you know i was i ended up using some lemon because i had some left and then i am also cleaning the tomatoes and the cilantro and everything that i'll be using with the chicken before i go ahead and clean the chicken i didn't chase you would you even care and if i lost my mind would you come around I will keep you safe and sound after all this time I know I will get many questions as to why I am using the lemon. I'm just using it to disinfect the chicken and also just to remove the blood that is in the chicken. As usual, I don't like like the smell of blood, so that's why I am using that and it really really cleans the chicken so well. So for my cooking I'm just using a, just a natural way of how I make chicken. I have just fried onions, ginger, garlic, some chicken as well and also I'm adding some coriander and I'm just giving it some time and then I will add tomatoes. Later we will add our spices and we will also add some mala that is fermented milk and our chicken stew will be done like oh my goodness this was the best bite I've ever had in a long while. So when the chicken is already cooked and the spices have already infused and also the tomatoes have already cooked, it is when I'm going to add my fermented milk just to add some thick paste to it. I just wanted to add something like, you know, to make it a little bit of thick so that we could eat this with rice. And we really, really enjoyed this food. It was so yummy, so, so tasty and so much rich in spices.
So the whole week I've been just cleaning, cleaning, cleaning around since we did the makeover in my master bedroom. I have been doing cleaning almost all the time and every day. So today I'm just going to wind up with this bedroom and we are already done. Like I have already done everything that was needed for the room. Now it's high time we go ahead and clean it, organize it, arrange the pillows and also hang a picture frame. And you will just see that as I am done. And guys oh my goodness you're not ready for the look of this bedroom it's looking so simple organized and functional because we have a tv um we have a a study table that also can be used as a dressing table oh my goodness i really enjoy taking pictures inside here and i love it Now here is the final look of the bedroom. Very simple, functional, and we love it. Thank you so much for watching up to this point. And you guys, I have loved filming this video and hope you too have loved watching this video. Let me see you on my next video. If you are new, please remember to subscribe. If you are a returning Karibu Sana, and please, if you have enjoyed my video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It really, really supports me. Let me see you. Bye-bye. Ciao.